guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my july book wrap up i read i think 14 ish books i think i read 14. I read some really good books i i read an entire series at least all the published works and then i read a lot that was on my physical tbr also accomplished my um expected july tbr i guess at the at the beginning of each month i always do a tbr and i got to finish all those books which is really exciting but yeah before before the, all the rambling starts let's go ahead and dive into these books first one i read is actually one that i read on my ipad and that is lucy scores the things we never got over pretty sure this will be a series kind of like um where you don't have to read the other one but it's advised name Naomi um, she is a runaway bride she goes to help her twin sister Tina and is left with her Tina's daughter who Naomi didn't know about and she is hated because everybody thinks she's Tina but in the end you get to see the romance bloom you get to see some thriller stuff happen it's a really good book and I ended up reading it four stars so much thicker than normal contemporary romance but it was super good this book I read this month was Circe I actually did a annotating vlog about this book and this book was five stars Madeline Miller just I knew her writing was godsend because of Song of Achilles but this oh my gosh I think I may like this more than Song of Achilles and it's just so beautiful powerful main character obviously it's talking about the Greek goddess she's not a goddess she is a witch um Circe I'm sure people have heard about her from Odysseus and stuff like that but yeah this book was so interesting I learned so much about Circe in this book and obviously like it's fictionized but it was so fun I'm also super excited for Madeline Miller to come out with her Persephone and Hades retelling because Persephone and Hades are one of my favorite Greek mythology um, myths and stuff, so super excited. Five stars. This one I read was actually a really short one, and this is Women by Chloe Caldwell. I would categorize this as literary fiction. It's about a woman who has never been with another woman, and so this is kind of telling you of her story about her trying to figure out her sexuality, and more specifically, it's the relationship is the main part. This book is very interesting. I rated it three stars. It was good. I thought I thought it was cool. Um, not like the best book ever or something that like I typically pick up, but I do think the cover is stunning and I thought it was interesting to read it. This book I have is Barbarian Lover. This is the third installment of the Ice Planet Barbarian series um, in like the published format. I know all the books are out like digitally, but the author is <laughs> publishing them. So yeah, this is about a girl. I'm not gonna spoil it too much since it is a third book. Um, I also have a reading vlog over this if you guys want to watch that. But yeah, this one was super good. I think I rated it three stars. These books are my guilty pleasure, but I'm not even that, I like, I don't feel guilty for liking them. So they're just, they're a pleasure to read. I don't know. Next book I have is The No Show by Beth O'Leary. Guys, this book was five stars. I was so intrigued by it and essentially on the back it's talking about how three women are stood up on Valentine's Day by the same guy. They, they are vastly different. You get all the women's perspectives um, and you see how different they are and you see this guy trying to juggle the, his relationship with all three women and it's not what you think. You have to you have to read this book. I have read The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary and I also love that book. It, it has a depth. Her writing is like, yes, it's fun, cute, romance, contemporary romance, but there's more depth in it and this one was so good. Recommend it. One I have is LA Woman by Eve Babbitts. This is my second book that I read by Eve. Um, this one I rated three stars just because I felt like the narrator there was kind of two narrators and I felt like sometimes I didn't know who we were with at the at the moment um and there was also just a lot of characters which is why I rated it three stars it was still very like a pleasurable read like I still enjoyed reading it I rated it three stars because I would recommend it if you're interested in literary fiction I feel like Eve Babbitt's um her stories from the two that I've read feel more like character driven like you're just focusing on the character yes there's like some plot in that but like the characters are the main they're the main source of entertainment. Um, so if you guys don't like character driven books, I wouldn't recommend um, at least the two books I've read by her, which is Sex and Rage and LA Woman. But yeah, this one's also very short. It's very summery, LA vibes. I liked it. The next book I read was Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. This was my Colleen book of the month. I rated this one five stars. I also have rated all of Colleen's books five stars. So 
take that as you will but um this is this was such a good book it was not what i was, was expecting it's about a dysfunctional family merit being the main character she has a twin sister named honor there is some romance there's also like trying to regain trust and familial relationships in within the family um i feel like there's also there's also like mentions of depression suicide um death other things like that so beware if you're gonna read this but i did enjoy it it's definitely not my favorite colleen hoover book but i still was pleasantly surprised and i really did enjoy it so i have every summer after and oh my gosh guys this book is worth the hype to me yes it's exactly like love in other words like literally the same plot but if you like love in other words you should enjoy this i've also heard people saying this is like the summer i turned pretty so if you like that vibe read this it was adorable friends to lovers um second chance romance beachy vibes summery vibes it was so cute um i rated this five stars obviously it was really really good i ended up picking the roughest draft up and i rated this four stars i thought this one was super good i really liked it i love reading about characters that in, are in the like book industry publishing industry these two are authors and so seeing the romance between them and their writing was just very cute ideal setting of them staying in a beach house and writing about their own love i thought that was so interesting very cute also the cover gorgeous and then i read a series i was not expecting to read the series but i ended up rating all four of these books um five stars so the first one is the simple wild the second one is called wild at heart the third one is called forever wild these are all told by the these are all in the same perspective like of Kala, who's the main character and then this one is actually the fourth novel also rated this one five stars called running wild and this has a different um main character and you see a different romance in this so i love this series it makes me want to go to alaska i was literally talking to my partner london about how i want to i want to go there i want to go there so bad so i just want to go after reading these they're so good they're so cute it's it's beautiful last book i read this month was my non-fiction book and that was the heartbreaking work of a siren genius i rated this two and a half stars this is a memoir about dave eggers have no idea who that guy is so that may impact my, my rating i know a lot of people don't rank memoirs because it's like about someone's life but i'm ranking it two and a half stars i thought some of the stories were good i thought it was so interesting that it was very interesting in the acknowledgements page and like the preface like this whole start of this book this is hilarious and it's like the preface to the book but then when you actually get into the book it was just like some of it was good it was about him taking care of his brother after the passing of both of their parents and so it was very good like there were some good things in there but just overall probably wouldn't recommend this to someone unless they loved this guy or they loved reading memoirs and they just wanted to read this but yeah this was the last book of july these are all the books i read this month let me know what you guys read this month and i will talk to you guys later peace and love bye guys